All right, what's going on everyone? We are fishing a, uh, a new body of water today known as Kakusin Creek in PA. It's near the Topahawken Creek and the Wyomissing Creek, both of which we fish on the channel quite a bit. Oh, I missed, missed one already. Not, uh, not expecting anything too giant in here. Um, just a catch or two would be nice. Something has it. Something very tiny has it. A little, uh, oh, a little, little cut lips minnow, I believe. That's all right, little buddy. Yeah, show them the best I can. Little, little cut lips. Get a quick picture. Hey, at least we didn't get skunked today. Yeah, for some reason my camera's crooked, I'm gonna have to fix it, but uh, there he is. See you little buddy. Alright, let me fix this, this camera real quick. Alright, well hey, first ever fish in this creek. Very little guy, but the point of this uh, micro fishing, you know, the super ultra light rod. Yeah, last time we, I unveiled the new St. Croix rod that I've wanted for a very, very long time. Unfortunately, my lose, which has uh, been seen by many on this channel, um, unfortunately met its end up against the uh, bank of a creek. So. Ooh, I think I see a trout. Something a little bit bigger. <laughs> another uh, another cut lips minnow. A little bit bigger than the last guy for sure, but definitely still a, a, a tiny boy. Get him off this hook. <laughs> They're always so tough to hang on to. As my camera goes away. There he is. See a little buddy. That's my camera. I hate this chesty. I really do. I saw a, uh, I think I saw a trout or a decent sucker actually chase the fish a little bit. Put it on that side. Got a slightly better size one. Yep. Another, uh, it's probably my, you know what? Oddly enough, that is my personal best um, cut lips minnow. <laughs> we don't typically catch very big ones, and trust me, not a not a giant by any means, but definitely my, uh, my personal best. I'd like to get a picture of them, but I think it's gonna happen. Yeah, just gotta let them go. Here, see if I can snap a quick photo. Come on, Samsung. There we go. My biggest. Biggest one yet? <laughs> well, hey, at least we're having fun, you know? Like I said, I'm not really expecting too many big fish in here, especially not in this area. This is a good test for this rod. Trying to see how sensitive it is. Plus, I do want to see every little species that's in here, so. That was decent. Come on, come back for it. Something hit it pretty, pretty solid. I don't think this is the one in question, but. <laughs> Another of these cut lips minnows, ay ay ay. <laughs> there he is, little guy. And there he goes. See ya, buddy. Yep, he's sitting next to me. He's gonna watch. Something definitely, I don't want to say big, just because this light is, this rod is 
you know, it, it thinks everything is a pretty big fish. Something pretty decent, though. Mount bass for this rod. <laughs> I just can't, like, it's every cast, like, oh my goodness, they're so tiny. See you, little buddy. Yeah, I'll have to switch spots, I think. Um, they're fun, but I'm never going to catch anything but them in here, I don't think. They're just so much faster to the bait than everything else. Oh, no, I almost forgot to say. The reel is uh, obviously different than last time. Um, <laughs> unfortunately, my lose reels both of them had uh had issues in the car including my old one and the new one i had on that last rod so see you little buddy thank you um sadly could not use either of them thankfully i had a uh spare ultralight in the car so we have a um a favorite reel on couldn't tell you the model honestly um it's a lance cheaper reel i think honestly not sure i actually have a uh, pickup order for a new i just want to see if that nub would get anything for a new 13 fishing uh reel that was on a good sale but um that's the reel we're using today i'm probably going to move down a little bit to see if we can't get some different fish all right what a new spot it's either a bass or a trout or something sitting down here Come on, I would love a bass on this rod. Ooh, we got something pretty decent size here. Oh, yo, really big rock bass. Holy crap. Nope. No, 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 no. Oh, he's stuck in the weeds. Come on. No, no, no. There we go. Holy crap. That's like my biggest rock bass ever. Holy crap. I didn't expect to be able to lip anything in here. Holy crap. Let me just readjust him real quick. That is one of the biggest rock bass I've ever caught. Holy crap. That is really nice size. Wow. <laughs> I saw something pretty decent sitting in there. And yeah, he is the full length of my hand. Wow. That is awesome. <laughs> that is awesome. Definitely one of my biggest ever. I'll have to measure my hand when I get home. Thank you, big boy. You're awesome. Appreciate it. What a what a little scrapper. <laughs> he uh he actually had me in the in the weeds down here, right under this rock, so thankfully managed to get him, but sight fished him a little bit. You know what? That size rock bass is really nice. Especially for a creek. That's awesome. There he goes. He would just... Oh. There's a lot of little guys in there, too. I'm going to try and get down a little bit further here. I've, I've never been to this park before, so I'm not entirely sure how the trail is going to be all around, but... Yeah, he wrapped me around a tree branch, so I wanted to get that out of his mouth real quick. Oh. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. Yep, they put it right on that rock. There we go. I think I saw something a little bit bigger. 
floating around in there. I would love a large mouth or a small mouth or they're putting me right under the ledge so I'm trying to be careful. Don't have a lot of rigs right now. Yesterday took a quite a chunk from me. Yeah, I don't think I'm getting a, anything but sucker in there. Not even a sucker, a little cut loose minnow. Yeah, I think that's all she wrote in there. Hey, that big rock bass is really exciting. That's a that's close to a personal best. Probably, honestly, pro probably not. But I think my biggest one is like 10 inches. Had a lot of a lot of slack to make up there, and another cutlip spin out. <laughs> another little guy. Get a quick picture. And send him back. Thanks, buddy. All right, probably just do one more cast. Ooh, almost. That rock is way looser than I expected it to be. Keep taking a look, see if we can't get a nice shaded spot for some trout. All right, especially given the size of the fish we've been seeing so far, I'm trying to avoid whole worms because it's kind of a waste. However, this spot feels extremely trouty. So, threw a uh, decent sized one on here. Yep, speak of the devil. Come on. There we go. Our first trout in Cucusin Creek. And she's a beauty. Wow. Sound like Owen Wilson there. <laughs> That is a beauty, wow. You know, I, I'm a sucker for uh, the ones with tons of spots. Definitely a beauty. Let's get a quick picture. First ever trout in Cucusin Creek. All right, good work. Get him released. There he goes. All right, move down to another spot. There's not a lot of creek flow here, so I don't think I'm gonna get much, but I at least wanted to uh, give it a quick college try. There we go. Creek chub. Another new species for the day. There we go. Let's get him unhooked. Tough to hold, but there he is. They're pretty cool looking. You get a bad rap, just like fall fish and cut lips minnows and all these little bottom feeders. But try and get a quick picture. That's awesome back. Thank you, buddy.
go. Another, uh, another cut lips minnow. Well, we certainly got enough of them today. Aye, aye, aye. They're just sitting along the bank here, which, pun intended, is what I was kind of banking on. Another creek chub, I think. Yep, another creek chub. Hey, multi species galore at this point. I, I, I. Hey, give it back. Thank you. All right, <laughs> let's see you, buddy. Worm is dying for dear life. <laughs> Not literally, but. <laughs> oh, that's the nicest one yet in this area. Little rock bass. That would explain it. <laughs> All right, rock bass number three on the day. Definitely a lot smaller than that last one, but. Little guy. <laughs> Thanks, little buddy. See you, buddy. All right, well, hey. We wanted multi-species. This is what we're getting. All right, we're gonna switch spots. All right, see if anything's hiding in the uh, heavier current here. There is. Pretty sure that was a trout. <laughs> you gotta be kidding me. I can't get away. <laughs> oh my God. They are everywhere in here. Holy crap. Let's see, buddy. <sighs> well, something's in the heavier current in here. Preferably a trout. I actually like this reel better than my lose one. Oh my god. Eh, creek chub. <laughs> you can always tell by the um, try and grip it, so you guys can see, but that, that stripe on the side, that's how you can tell.
I see a little panfish or rock bass in here. I want to see if I can get them. No? Hmm. Saw them come out. Surprising. He honestly came out more to fight that fish than he did to inspect the uh, bait. Trying to avoid uh, some of the heavier rocks. I don't think there's a uh, trout in here, and if there is, does not want what I'm putting down. We're seeing so many in one spot. I'm gonna assume it's a little, yep, a oh, little creek chub. All right, see little buddy. He's a little small. I don't want to risk dropping him into the rocks here. <laughs> well, we are going to catch about a million fish today, I think. Just all these little, little chubs and minnows. Alright, buddy. Hey. Hey, hi. Hey. There he is. See you, To the rocks. To the rocks. To the east. All right, through right here. Beaded nymph on. There's a little sunfish down there, I think. Cool to get another species. All right, <laughs> first ever creek chub on the fly. As soon as it hit too. He's really not having it. All right, see you buddy. Not very personable. <laughs> well, the nymph is getting some nice attention at least. We're gonna switch spots here in a moment. It was looking looking like a trouty spot, but oh, you know what? There's a tiny little sunfish right here. You are not the sunfish. Please scatter. Little sunfish. Picked it up and threw it. I get it. 
Good lord. <laughs> we got something feeding down here. We got a couple things feeding. Let's see, buddy. I think we're gonna have to. I'm gonna relocate just a little bit real quick. Leave my bag there. Just like that, it stops. I'm trying to bounce one under this tree real quick. There it goes. Damn, it was a trout. Let's see if there's another one. I was worried it was gonna see me, and it did. That was a really nice sized trout. Another dead crayfish, another dead crayfish. What the hell? All right, well, sadly I spooked that trout. Interesting. Couldn't begin to tell you what kind of fish that just was. This might be a trout. Yeah, she is. Brown trout on the fly. Oh, putting up some serious fight here. No, no, not the branches. Thank you. Come on, come on, come on. No. Oh, woo, beauty. Wow. It does have a uh, bit of a cut. I'm gonna take it down to this bridge area here to release it so I can at least get it close to the water as I can. Whew. Almost ate it. All right, hey, hey, hey. hey. It's all right, buddy. There's the beauty. Thankfully, the cut was just on the side of its mouth. I think that jump uh, really did it. Cool. I don't even know if that's what went after it the first time, but it definitely went after it the second time. So, hey, trout number two in the day. All right, last worm is on. I've seen about 30 crayfish now. Oh my god, that was horrible. <laughs> 